What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is Betting with the Boys. I'm your boy, Chase. This is Rick, my co-host, and this is our weekly podcast where we talk about all things NFL. We guys, we give you guys current news. We talk about our games. We give our picks. And then we just kind of talk about random shenanigans. So, look, this is the last episode of the season. Um, yeah. It's kind of wild. We're already here. It feels like we just started this. I know. You know? I was, I'm really proud of us for sticking with it the whole time. I thought it would be one of those things where we would just kind of do it a few weeks and then stop. It's like a diet. I'm really, yeah, I'm really proud that we actually did one for every single week of the season, mm-hmm. made our picks, uh, and it all went off without a hitch, which was kind of cool. So, well, I think the fact that Kudos it was, you us. know, only a, like we only had to do it once a week, you know, um, yeah. made a lot easier. And it's also, you know, football, which we love and can talk about for hours. So it makes it a lot easier. But um, yeah, so unfortunate. This is a sad time, though. The season's over, but yep. um, I don't know how everybody else feels about it. For me and Rick, I know actually one of the f- one of our favorite parts of the NFL is the off season, the whole draft yeah. process and and free, free agency. agency. So you know, it kind of just starts to cycle all over again, and it has you know gives you something to get excited about and look forward to for the next season. But before we get to that, Rick, you want to go ahead and just recap the last game of the season, the Super Bowl, and give us your thoughts on that. All right, so the Kansas City Chiefs did beat the Eagles. Uh, I think we both predicted that. We did, yep. We both said Which that, we and we were, think they I'm went out sure, right. I'm pretty sure we were both in the minority with that. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you listened to us, you made some money. Um, okay. uh, Patrick Mahomes didn't have to do that much, to be honest with you. The first half was kind of shaky. The Eagles defense was playing well, but they mm-hmm. had to be damn near perfect in the second half. I mean, I think he was 13 or 14 in the second half. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he only threw for like 180 something yards with three touchdowns, no turnovers. I think the big turning point in the game was Jalen uh, Hurts kind of just dropping that ball yep. out of nowhere, yep. just a freak accident that you could play that game 100 more times, that would never happen. Um, freak accident. I think both teams are pretty evenly matched, even though I think the Eagles clearly had the better team. They're definitely the better team, but the the Chiefs just had Patrick Mahomes, um, even though he didn't play. Superman, he was on one leg half. Right. And uh, the Chiefs defense, Chris Jones, they had the two best players in the game, I think. Chris Jones and Patrick Mahomes. I think it's probably safe to say they were the two best players on the field. And Kelsey. Um, so and It's I tough. Mean, they Kelsey, had the best three players on the field, though. Yeah, Kelsey. You could throw Kelsey in there, too. Um, but I think the Eagles were more well-rounded. At the end of the day, it was a real close game. Uh, the the little people are talking about that holding call. I mean, to me, the little people are talking about it. What I mean, the hell? A little, a little people are talking about the holding call. Not everybody's talking about it. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but uh, um, but uh, to me, I mean, pretty much any angle you look at it, it's holding. Yeah. So I don't really see, and people well, are saying, "Oh, you don't call it there." I'm just like, "Well, wh- you call a, a penalty you know, a penalty." That's the and, perks of being an NFL ref is, you know, time yeah. of the game, it doesn't matter. The consequences, if it's a flag, it's supposed to be a flag. So as an unbiased NFL fan, you know, fuck I'm Eagles. all about making the right call. Yeah, fuck you the know? Eagles. Exactly. Yeah, so um, kind of just following up on what you said, I, I actually think this was one of the better Super Bowls oh, yeah, in the game. last, you know, 10 years. Uh, yeah. Really from the start, from, you know, Chris Stapleton kicking off with the National Anthem which hit the over. Uh, as soon as I found out that Chris Stapleton was singing this, I was like, oh, 100% the over hits. Um, it was close, wasn't it? Wasn't it no, really it was close? like 30 seconds over. Like, it wasn't oh, even close. I, I think I saw a um, uh, a video where somebody had it, like, and it barely hit the over mm-hmm. by, like, 0.3 seconds because they Oh, uh, yeah, no, this friends. one was way over. But, you and know, they, and then... They were scared. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> and then the game, um, you know, like you said, I think the turning point was that the fumble... And I think that also just comes down to, you know, trying to do too much. And it yeah. comes out to bite you in the ass, you know. Um, and that was a big factor. But the Eagles looked dominant in the first half. Mm-hmm. Halftime comes around. You know, everybody was trying to guess, oh, hey, what's going to be Beyonce's first song? Not Beyonce. Beyonce. Rihanna's first song. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just <laughs> listening to Beyonce uh, in the bathtub. Um, but no, and, and so we were going through at the Super Bowl party I was at, and everybody was saying their guests, saying their guests, and I'm like, 
all right, well, let's go. Okay, what if some of her top songs, you know? And then we're starting to go, and we're like, damn, she's on a lot of, like, really good songs. Like, over the last 20 years. I uh, had a trivia question on a few nights ago, and um, she was, like, one of the top five, top one song billboard mm-hmm. number, like, hit number one on the billboards. Yeah. She's in the top five of all time of, like, females. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, shit, put Rihanna on there. And of course we got it. And I was like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of cool because she did the Super Bowl because I probably wouldn't have thought about it unless the Super Bowl happened. Yeah. But she has a bunch of songs. That hit oh, one. for the last 20 over the last 20 years, just absolute dominance. Probably yeah, if not, maybe I don't know, maybe the greatest female singer artist ever. I mean, uh, up there, up definitely. There. I mean, like Beyonce. I yeah. Think, uh, you know, uh, Shania I mean, Twain, at, uh, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, <laughs> Aretha Franklin, Franklin. Yeah. So, Franklin. but anyways, it's funny. Everybody's saying their list and I'm going through the list. I'm like, Oh, I see it. Bitch better have my money. And what Is do you know? That's what the first one was. I was like, <laughs> let's go. And then it turns out the, she's also pregnant. Um, you know, doing parkour out there on these, like, looks like she was playing freaking super smash bros on these like moving pylons or whatever. But yeah, no, this, the halftime show, there's, I've seen some people on Twitter that didn't think it was that good. I thought it was really good. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, and then the second half, great great ending, competitive till the end. Um, yeah. I get that people are upset yeah. that it ended on a flag, but, hey, don't grab him, you know? Yeah. Like, and, and Jarek McKinnon sliding made all the difference. Yeah, 100%. He score. could have just easily walked in, but there would have been, yeah, what, two minutes left they almost. Give, yeah, they would have given him like a minute 45, minute mm-hmm. 50 left. Well, and it's that, funny. That's been plenty of time. It's funny, like, Talking after, you know, after, like, you know, we kind of get into, like, deep dive in the, like, the analytical side of it, especially after, like, picking the spreads, whereas, like, just a casual fan, like, my dad was like, oh, that was stupid. If you have points, you don't stop and not take the points and no, leave it up to the kicker and leave it up to the kicker. But I'm like, you're, you're not wrong, but you're wrong because it's like you don't give them the ball back because they if the Eagles aren't even scored, you know they're going to go for two. They had to, yeah. right? And it's like I you – that you end it there or you go to overtime, game. you know? You exactly. end it there or you go to overtime. You don't give them the ball back because that happens so many times. You see the other team gets the ball back with just enough time. And yeah, then, like, boom. Uh, what was it, the divisional round last year? Patrick Mahomes got the ball back with 13 seconds left. Yeah, and scored. And scored and won. Yeah. I mean, like, you can't give these quarterbacks nowadays any time because uh-huh. offenses are just, it's so good. Offense, and they're yeah. going to make plays. Yeah. And then the last part of the Super Bowl that – I think everybody um, is a fan of his commercials. I will say there was some good commercials this year. I didn't get to watch every single one in depth like I would because I was at a party. So, you know, we're moving around, talking, stuff like that. But uh, but no, the commercials were good this year still. Um, I like, you know, there are a bunch of good upcoming movies. And I love like the, I don't know if it's the one with like the babies that are like talking like in a helicopter or whatever. I can't remember what brand that's for, but First, those are funny. Uh... I did see one. Uh, my wife got tricked by it. Was like the two B commercial. Yes, yes, the we one all that did. Everybody Olson. did. And and I saw it come on because I walked out to go get a bottle to feed my daughter. And I like I heard I saw it come on. I was like, oh, okay, it's still a commercial. And it was uh, Greg Olson and Kevin uh, whoever I think mm-hmm. I can't forget the other guy. But they were talking. And she's like, uh, something's happening with the TV. I'm not doing it. I promise, I'm not doing it. We're getting hacked. I was, I, I was like, it's just a commercial. She's like, are you sure? Because it's changing the channel. I was like, it is. And then it changed. Well, and you're she was like just freaking out. smarter than everybody else. Because everybody at our party was like, was what the hell? Out. Who's sitting on the controller? Like, the dude thought yeah. his dog got the controller. And we were like, what the well, hell? I, I, I think they were wearing different clothes. And I noticed that. Oh, uh, so, you, so you're just and, smarter than all of us. But, and Because uh, uh, I was like, oh, it's just a commercial, babe. And she was like, are you sure? Because it's changing. And I was like, we don't have two BTV, I promise. But <laughs> that one. And then the, the Breaking Bad commercial was good also. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Especially for what me, because I just finished watching What's that the, show. Um, it was like the popcorn or something like popcorn, that. Popcorn, yeah. yeah. It's popcorn, bitch. So, but that was good. But yeah, so like Rick said, we both picked successfully. We picked the Chiefs against the spread. But we both also said, I think they win this game outright, and they did. So that brings our season total. I was 141 and 141, even 500, not too shabby. Uh, and Rick was 143. And 139. So, you know, he's in the green this Cheers, year. Man. Um, Cheers, he's man. He's in the green. So I took I took year one. Maybe next year you can take it. We'll see. Look, I got a lot of improving to do. Well, look, like Rick said, 
like I said earlier, just because the season's done, we're not going dormant until, you know, next September. We've got a lot of plans. Um, mm -hmm. Rick, you want to kick us off with some of the more um, technical updates that we're planning on making this offseason? Yeah, uh, we're thinking of rebranding. Uh, we don't want to be stuck in a niche where we're just talking sports betting with football. We want to be able to talk about life, what's going on at the house, what we're doing and what we're getting into. Be able to talk about maybe talk about basketball when the playoffs come around, stuff like that. Just be able to talk about whatever mm -hmm. we want to talk about and not just be stuck on just NFL. Uh, so we're looking to rebrand. We're looking to kind of update some some uh, layouts and, and different scenes for the, the podcast. And hopefully next year around football season, we've got it all figured out. But we're mm -hmm. definitely going to try and still bring some content if you want to get into what we're thinking about doing for like draft season, things yep. like that. Yeah. So we'll just one more thing on that. So like, I, like Rick said, you know, we want to add some updated UI and overlays just to make it look a lot more cleaner and better. Um, and then also, yeah. So this off season, we're going to take a couple weeks off. Rick just had a baby. He's just opened up his own restaurant here this next month. So he's going to be pretty busy. I, uh, nothing's changing in my life big, so I will still be available, but Anyways, that's where I'll be doing a lot of the stuff on the back end to try to update our overlays and everything, you know. Um, and then we want to kick back off here after a couple weeks or a couple months off near free agency start date and the draft and do maybe a couple, um, you know, free agency updates throughout the point of, hey, here's who we think we're going to go here. Or, hey, you know, so-and-so just signed with whoever or got traded here. Here's our reactions on it. And it might not even be like the long 30-minute episodes you're used to. It might be like a quick, like, Oh, boom. Jalen Ramsey just saw today. He said they might be getting, he might be getting traded. So a quick, Hey, five minute video, Rick, what's your thoughts on this chase? What's your thoughts on this? And then, you know, something quick, maybe short form that we can post on YouTube shorts or, or TikTok or whatever. Um, and then also we, we want to, uh, what's are that? We considering doing a separate channel. Yeah. Uh, so that is something that we're probably going to transition the podcast over to its own separate channel. Um, just more opportunity for growth there. That way, when you type in the name of the podcast, that comes up. Not, you don't have to type in your boy Chase, you know. Um, and then on top of that, we also want to hop into the draft. I think for both of us, to, I, could, I can speak and say draft. the draft is our favorite part of the year. Um, you know, doing mock drafts to see what we come up with and just seeing the crazy possibilities of, you know, the new trade generators and the draft generators that you can make is awesome. So we have a couple plans to do, you know, live drafts where – we will customize or randomize who picks and what, and then kind of just go through of what we think is going to look like and, and cover that throughout. And we'll do a couple of those throughout the offseason. It's not like we're just going to do one, because as you guys know, yeah, we'll, we'll probably you know, work with something where we do trades on one. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we do a two round mock draft yeah. on one, stuff like that. But we'll definitely play with, and as picks get traded and people get traded up mm -hmm. until the draft, we'll, we'll come out with new stuff after the updates come in, just because. Yep. We're just as into that as everybody else, and uh, draft season is the best best time of the year other than playoff football. In my yeah, opinion. exactly. Playoff and football's then, one, and then it's draft season. Yeah, yeah. And then just kind of to wrap that up, we also want to – we're talking about the possibility of doing a live draft show. I'm not really sure what that looks like yet, but it's something that we want to do, um, you know, of live stream us so we can have our reactions. Obviously, we can't show the stream. But we can have a ticker down below that, you know, shows, hey, here's the draft order. Here's who got picked. And then give our live reactions once the picks are made. Um, so that's definitely something that we want to do. And, um, you know, we're talking about it. Yeah, but, yeah, we'll so that's kind of our plans for this upcoming offseason. And then as the season starts next year, we'll, we'll just roll back into how we're doing it this year. A couple of things we want to add for next season is, like I said, the new UI, the new overlays. But also maybe add a like a fantasy corner where mm -hmm. um, you know the big thing now is like the underdog fantasy or the you know DraftKings like the daily fantasy where you yeah. draft your team you know and maybe given like a, a lineup that is our picks for that week to see how it can do and um, you know keep track of that somehow that is a, a something that we might want to look into doing um, as big as fantasy football is and as much as we like it you know I think that would be a good um, idea. You know, yeah, I think it'd be fun. And plus, we can we can maybe talk more about fantasy football mm -hmm. because we both play it. We're both in multiple leagues. Yeah, uh, um, I think we're only in one together. We may be two next year. Mm -hmm. I think we, we'll probably do another one together next year. Uh, but fantasy football is fun. This is the first year I really kind of dove in and started trading and doing all that. And I had a really good time. I built a really good team. It was just too little too late for me to get into the excuses. playoffs. You know? Excuses. But, uh, yeah, see, I got scammed out of it. Time. So. <laughs> 
you know. <laughs> yeah, the Raiders screwed All you. All of my, the Raiders just had my number and injuries killed me. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, that's another story for another day. But yeah, so, you know, a lot of expect, a lot of changes coming. Um, high expectations for this off season. We're excited about it. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we're going to go radio silent for a couple weeks as we work on that because I'm not the best at graphic design. So, Figuring out how to do these UI and overlay stuff is going to be interesting, but um, hopefully it looks good. Yeah. If anybody has any tips or tricks, mm -hmm. leave it in the comment section below if you want to help us out. Or any feedback of, you know, maybe something else you would like to see. And we'll shout you out. If you want to give us Mm -hmm. a sample, we'll shout you out in the next time we record. Yeah. Because we're we're not the most uh, graphic design gifted people. So if you have an idea for something, put it down below. Exactly. And also... One last thing that we're excited to announce. Uh, well, two, actually. This is one more addition. We want to start next year including maybe a guest picker every once in a while. One of our friends yeah. that uh, has an allegiance to some NFL fan base. Having them come on. So if, like, this guy's a Jaguars fan and the Jaguars are playing Sunday Night Football, maybe have him come on and be a guest picker um, just to kind of coordinate more conversation, you know, and – less just us and more of a communal type conversation. So I think that could be really fun or even bring on a couple guest speakers and kind of have just like an open forum round table type talk. Um, I think that could be a fun idea. And maybe, or maybe fans. Yeah. Um, We will probably end up doing some sort of Twitter account. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Um, And maybe, maybe we'll get fan questions. We'll get, uh, just we'll uh, do a little bit of trolling on the internet and uh, see what it gets us. That's what we like to do. That's always really fun. A little bit of fan trolling is always good. You can get NFL fans riled up. So exactly, uh, it's well, easy. we're really it's excited like taking for, candy uh, from a baby. Yeah, it's really easy. All you have to say is unbiased NFL fan here, um, and just spew some bullshit. It's great. Exactly. Um, but we're really excited for this next season. I can't. I can't wait to see what we come up with, and uh, specifically what it's going to look like. Because I won't really be on hands on with that part. You know, I just kind of. I don't have the time to you dive just work here. All the graphic design. Yeah, I'm just here so I won't get fined. You know? Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. Well, like Rick said, and like I said, you know, if you have anything you'd like to see or any advice or tips, you know, leave that below. Make sure you like and subscribe. It means a lot. Uh, thank you to everybody for viewing and supporting us throughout the season. Uh, it's been a long one, but it was a good one. We appreciate you all. We'll see y'all back here in a couple of weeks. And as always, cheers. cheers.